I forgot to flip the switch. Good morning, everybody. I apologize for the loud noises and the shitty camera. I'm using the GoPro today, so work with me. Hopefully by the end of the day, I don't have to scream over the exhaust of the 240. Right now, it has nothing but a straight pipe. There's no muffler, there's no nothing. Just one UZ straight pipe. And I'm fixing that today. Right now, I am on my way to my friend's work where they do exhaust work. And I'm having an exhaust rebuilt for this that has a muffler on it. So hopefully it'll be quieter. There's a smudge, again. Really? I don't know how much I'll be able to film of actually building the exhaust. So, uh, let's just see what happens. just left the exhaust shop the exhaust is now finished and holy shit this thing is quiet <laughs> I was not expecting it to be this quiet but oh well I haven't noticed much of a misfire difference I was expecting it to be a little bit better with having a little bit of back pressure but it's still spitting a little bit and I haven't really got to see if it's making the car any slower I'm gonna drive it around for a little bit and I will let you guys know Okay, so I pulled out the big camera for this so then I can use my road mic to film the exhaust note so you guys could hear it. So pretty much all that I did was cut where my, I'm gonna set my camera down, my arm's tired already. All I did was cut the exhaust off from the header and moved the V-bands up higher so they're not scraping the ground anymore. And then made the bends more tucked up and the Y pipe is more tucked up, so that's not gonna be scraping the ground everywhere. And then I had them put a three inch muffler right before the exit, and then I had them make the stupid bozo tip that I had like last time. The drive here, it sounds fucking awesome. I do not have to short shift in town anymore. I used to have to short shift really early so then it wouldn't get all raspy and loud. But now I can just rip through town and it's not loud at all and nobody's gonna bat an eye anymore. I can kinda feel a little bit of a power resistance from it. Uh, I don't know if it's just like, since I can't hear it screaming at me, it feels slower. I don't know if that's the case, but it's a hair bit slower. It is a lot quieter. It's withstandable. I can daily drive this car with this exhaust now. So I'm going to set the camera down and hopefully the wind doesn't affect the noise too much. And I'm going to start up and rev it up for you guys. if you guys hear how much of a difference it is but it is completely different because before it sounded like super v8 rumbly at like idle and low rpms but as soon as you hit i guess maybe like three four thousand rpms it would sound like a clapped out mustang <laughs> i was tired of that i wanted to have the v8 rumble all the way through so that's why i put a muffler to it it is a little 
I guess, I don't know how to explain it, like a little bit of rasp, but it's a different type of rasp. It's not like a, a Honda, a straight piped Honda where it has that, that RPM range, that super screaming raspy annoying and then it goes like not as loud again throughout the RPM range. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's the same, I guess, decibel all the way through. It's not like super loud, quiet, loud, quiet. It's a lot more even. It does kind of suck that at events, I'm not going to be heard as much because I was always told that people would be near the drift area and they always knew that I was going out because they could tell that it's my car because the exhaust note was so different. It doesn't sound like an LS. It doesn't sound like a 5.0. Well, it kind of does now. It had its own sound to it. Everybody loved it. I hated it. I don't know why everybody liked the sound of this thing straight piped. I fucking hated every bit of it. So now I can update you guys on what's going on Sunday. So Sunday is import face off St. Louis and I will be driving this event. I think that this is the last big event of this year that I know of that I'll be driving. I don't know of any other big events, honestly, that's going on this year. There is a Midnight Madness this Friday, but I'm not going to drive it because I'm not going to risk wrecking or breaking anything before Import Faceoff. The last time I drove Import Faceoff was in 2015, and that was my first, I think it's my second ever event I ever did in this 240. But it was the first big event. But that was back when it was dual cam KA, five speed, 15s, looked ugly, slow. So two years later, I have a car that's ugly, slow, kind of sounds cool. <laughs> but it's going to be a whole new world. It's going to be awesome to see how much this car has changed since that event. And I will be vlogging the whole event so you guys will be able to see everything so i hope you guys are as excited about import face off as i am because i'm fucking stoked there are a few things that i've done to the car since the last video that was just kind of small shit that i really didn't think was cool enough to film that i guess i could show you guys okay so if you remember i used to have a wing um i ripped it off i was bored i was waiting for tyler to get home so i ripped it off uh my car super dirty so you can't really tell, but I actually had to repaint it because when I put that wing on, I used double-sided tape and super glue, and that took up paint. So I had to sand it all down and fix it. Still not touched any of the damage from the wall tap from Drift A4. I bought new drift spares. Uh, these things, I bought these and some other ugly ass wheels. Bought all six wheels for 80 bucks and they're 17 by 7 so I've run 18s in the front now I'm running 17s in the back for drift spares but I raised the sidewall size of this tire up to a 45 so this 17 if you were to sit it next to my 18s up front these sit like I think a half inch shorter than the 18s so the car stays even and I'm still running a 215 in the back like I was before so I'm not hopefully going to see any grip differences. I did a new window banner. This one's a whole lot better quality than last time. The last time was just a die cut and it kind of sucked. But this one's a print. The cherry blossom trees look awesome and the white matches the car way more than that yellow banner did. <laughs> and I also painted my headlight lids because they were chipping up and rusting. So painted those. You can't even tell. They're already scratched. That's awesome. And painted the uh, headlight covers in the front, repainted them black. And I also put these, oh god, everything's out of focus. Put some electric tape on the headlights. Okay, so you can see this one's X'd out like it, oh, there's a butterfly. Oh, oh, oh. What's up, dude? So there's an X on this one and an upside down V on this one. So the story behind that. A couple days before Import Faceoff 2015, I was like, I want to do something stupid to the car that people might remember the car by. So I was like, I've always liked people that put the electric tape on the headlights. I kind of wanted to do that, but I wanted to change things up. So with the X, that's actually kind of supposed to be like an eye patch, if you think about it. Like that eye's dead. Don't don't think about that eye. Can't see out of it. And then this one is like 
a cute eye if you it's kind of hard to explain but if you're into any type of like art you'll see people do like the upside down V for like a happy face for the eyes it's kind of gay but I did it for import face off 2015 so as a reunion I did it again I think it looks it looks silly I like it though also have the perfect sticker for my extremely extremely fucked up fenders <laughs> Dude, this butterfly is so chill. Where you going, bro? <laughs> so, after all that out of the way, I think that that's going to end the video for today. Bars. I will see you guys at Import Face Off 2017. Hopefully some of you will be there. If you are there and you've never said hi to me before, Come up and say hi, because I'm not that awkward of a fucking person. I can sometimes socially interact okay. So, come say hi. Come watch Drifting. If I have an open seat, I might be able to give some ride-alongs. So, I hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you later. I didn't forget about the Japan Part 2 video. I'm kind of working on it sometimes. I'll get it finished sooner or later.